Wind is gusting, swirling around all over the place. 31 kilometers per hour at its maximum. Jao Almeida has gone fastest, I can tell you. The first man underneath 16 minutes. He is the world time trial champion. He is also the individual pursuits world champion on the track. Ghana ellipses the time. And what about that? 15-24, beat that. Extraordinary stuff. Pink jersey last year, Valerio Conti took a win. And he's gonna take Diego Lisi with him with 1,500 meters remaining. They wanna stretch this and eliminate as many riders as possible. Honore knows it's now or never. Can he possibly hold off Diego Lisi? Well, it doesn't look as if he's gonna be able to do it. But Lisi goes for glory and goes to the line and he times it to perfection. Hello and welcome to the lava flow, the volcanic mountain that is Etna. We are on stage three and it's the first of six summit finishes. Ted Geraint Thomas, is he in trouble? It doesn't look good. Simon Yates, Simon Yates on Azure San on a day of difficulty and this is a surprise. The volcano awaits, and it's Caicedo that is within touching distance. Just a few meters, and the pain will turn to relief. Arms in the air. It's glory for Ecuador. Joao Almeida could well be hanging on to the opportunity to step into pink. Colors of Bora Hansko. It's the uh, French national champion, Damari. Surely not going to get over him. Here comes Ballerini. Who's going to throw the bike at the line? Look to me like Arno Damar might just have got there in time. Sagan has gone on the attack. You, this was not expected. A climber extraordinaire, Philippe Ogana, is the winner of stage five. And what a great play by Team Ineos Grenadiers. And into the final few hundred meters, here comes the launch from Damar. Damar goes for glory. He's ambushed them all. He was nowhere all afternoon. That's about timing. Gets again, get around him. Tabar leads him to the final 50 meters. Tabar for the hat trick. Tabar gets it. Remarkable stuff. been years out there fighting and fighting and fighting and that's what it means to him. Alex Dow said take stage eight. I have a baby on the way in January and I don't have a job for next year currently so I needed this so badly.
Sagan presses on, and Ben Swift's resistance is starting to falter here. It's been a long, long victory drought, stretching back well over a year, and Peter Sagan finally is going to get his first victory of 2020. Tamar is going to lead it out, he's going to go for glory. Nobody's going to stop him. Arno Tamar to the line. It's four victories for Arno Tamar. He gets the win into Remini. He's got puncture. He's looking for a team assistance, and Narve is not going to hang around. It's glory to Ecuador in Chesanatico this afternoon. He'll wear pink for a 12th day in Giro d'Italia. It's this shark who's struggling. It's Vincenzo Nibali who's dropping off the back of this pace. And it's Almeida starting to. He's having to make a huge effort to close the gap here. The elbows are out. This is a big, big question being asked by Jai Hindley. Theo Gegenhardt goes for the line. Theo Gegenhardt will not be denied. It's going to be a fifth stage success for Team Ineos Grenadiers and a first career Grand Tour success for Theo Gegenhardt. He's going to hang on to his big jersey by the narrowest of margins, but with battles to come, he knows he's been in a fight. But what a fantastic, brave resistance from Joao Almeida. Tratnik goes to try and break the resolve of Ben O'Connor. He's got a huge crowd of fans here to cheer him on to glory as he takes the win in Frulli. Vanquished is Ben O'Connor, but what a great play by the young Australian. He bangs the bars in frustration, but he's given us some wonderful entertainment. And now he can start to believe it, and he's starting to realize that it's actually going to happen. At 24 years of age, he's going to be a Grand Tour stage winner. Almeida starting to crack here. Huge efforts going in from Joao Almeida, and it's a long, long way to the top here. Kelderman is in his own little crisis. He's in a world of hurt because Jai Hindley is equal to the pressure being applied by Rowan Dennis. Theo Gegenhart now riding solo. Jai Hindley has been a loyal lieutenant for Kelderman for much of this uh, race, for much of the afternoon. Hindley comes from off the wheel of Theo Gegenhardt is a fine finisher. It's going to be really close. Looks like Hindley could have enough in hand. They'll race it all the way to the line. But Hindley gets his arms in the air. He rides it all the way to the line. And by the skin of his teeth, Wilco Kelderman will ride into pink. And what about this for the CCC squad, the embattled CCC team, as finally they get a victory in Giro d'Italia 2020. Joseph Journey takes it home to glory and Asti today. out the back here. He's lost a few bike legs. The overall race leader is starting to lose and Hindley's going with the Ineos Grenadiers squad. 
Attack number two from Jai Henley. A tail Gegenhardt is equal to this one. Gegenhardt straight on the tail of his Australian rival. Who's going to get stage honours on the day? The bonus seconds are going to be critical. And also the bragging rights heading into the final time trial. Jai Hindley leading, but here now launching his Teo Gegenhardt. He surely won't be fast. Teo Gegenhardt from Team Ineos Grenadiers to the line. Opens up a couple of bike lengths. Hindley needs to stay on the wheel. Can he respond and come round with another bit of his own? Running to the line, it's Teo Gegenhardt. Exactly the same That's time. Same, same the time separation each other. between <laughs> these riders places. will come down to the two time trials. And Filippo Ganna is the red hot favourite. Can he repeat? He's looked good in recent days. As Ganna takes it to the line, he's going to destroy this time. Ganna is the fastest. Who can beat that? Jahinley is off the ramp and into action. The overall race leader, his day in pink. Will he still have this jersey at the conclusion? And the road will decide. The stopwatch will tell the story. It's up to 21 seconds. Still, it's going the right direction. He's screaming his way to the finish line here. Teo Gegenhardt is going to be in the top 12 and he's going to win Giro d'Italia. It's not over yet. We've still got a few kilometers to wait for the arrival of Jai Hindley. And that is it. Teo Gegenhardt has won Giro d'Italia 2020. A remarkable achievement. All of my career, I've dreamt of trying to be top five or top ten maybe in a in a race of of this stature so this is something completely and utterly different to that and uh, I think this is going to take a long time to, to sink in.